Alright guys, welcome to the first video in a small series that we're going to be doing. Um, the entire series is basically going to be a start to finish setting up a Dark RP server and getting it running. So the rest of the videos is not going to matter what host you're using, but for this video, this one is the buying the actual server and getting into the game panel video. So this one will be geared directly at Cryden. So you should be able to see my screen. Um, and. Uh, I've got a 10 minute mail here, um, so normally obviously you wouldn't want to use that because then you could lose access to your account, but for this video it's totally fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, the, uh, we're going to go to order hosting, Gary's mod, and um, here you've got two like deal type things that we have, these change every now and then, it's just essentially a discount, look you save £5 with each of these, um, it just depends on what people are like after at the time. Um, but uh, I'm going to go over to order my own CPU percentage um, and put this up 100% because say that's what I want and then for this, this doesn't really matter, this won't be the actual name of the server in Gary's mod, this is just what it will be named in the game panel. So say if you're launching like a Dark RP server and a Star Wars RP server, you could name one of these um, Dark RP and then like you know your community name. Um, so you could do that or it, it doesn't really matter um, you can also change it once you're in the game panel so um, right now I'm just going to set this to uh, my dark RP server uh, so then you just click continue um, so you'd fill out all of your information here um, so I've actually already got a account which I'm going to log into uh, actually no sorry I'm going to use this aren't I I know, I've got this under control. <laughs> um, so, uh, you'd want to fill out actual information here. Um, now, a lot of people don't understand why we ask for this information, um, and they don't actually enter real information, and then it kind of bites them back later. So. Why you probably want to enter your real information here um, is if your accounts ever broken into, or you know you use two-factor auth and you can't get into two-factor auth, we use this information to verify who you are. So if you don't remember this stuff, that probably might be a problem for you. And we've had people pro probably lose access to their accounts through this. Um, as you know, I'm not actually paying anything. Um, this isn't a major issue for me, but. Um, you guys probably want to enter like real information here. That's probably a good idea. Uh, if you've got any promotional codes, you can chuck them in there. And then I think I should be able to just press continue unless I've missed anything here. So this is where you get the PayPal pop up. Um, so you can just click here and it should just send you through to PayPal. There we go. Um, now, uh, I'm actually... Um, not uh, gonna do this. Um, I'm not gonna uh, use this order. Um, however, normally you would then just pay with PayPal and uh, your service would get um, deployed and you'll get an email. Um, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna actually go over here um, and we're gonna um, use this test drive. So if you do crident.com slash test dash drive, um, this is a 24 hour trial um, with 74% CPU and I'm going to use this because that means I don't need to log in through PayPal. Um, so I'm going to select London because that's closest to me. So dark copy tutorial. Yes, continue. So we've already got the account now so we can just go straight through. Um, obviously only need to do that once. Um, and now this is the page that you'd see if you paid through PayPal normally, or you'd get taken to the invoice. Um, either way, at the bottom of the invoice, there's a button that says continue to client area or back to client area. Um, and there's a button here. Um, so you just smack that, it'll take you back to the client area. Now, if you've paid, it might take a few seconds. Um, your server might be showing as pending like this for a bit. Um, it could take a few minutes. It's normally pretty fast, but normally the slowest part is PayPal actually letting us know that you've sent the money. Once we've got that um, IPN request, then normally the service deploys really fast. Um, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to check your email, and you'll have two emails. You'll have server created and account created. Um, now, 
this email here is actually going to be changed soon. It might not be displaying correctly in this, but that's fine. Um, so um, at the moment, um, there is a button that's not showing up here. Um, now we're going to be changing this so that that button doesn't have display issues. Um, quite a few email clients and stuff don't display it. Um, so we're going to be fixing that, but I'm actually going to show you how to um, you know, handle it anyway, so the, the button doesn't show up um, in the email, which normally lets you set your password. Uh, I'm going to show you how to handle that anyway. There's a few different ways we can do that. So um, let's go over to our uh, server, which is deployed. Um, now, um, this is all being worked on a bit, which is why you can see it's a little bit funny. But when you guys probably order a service, this will be a bit more streamlined. So. Uh, what you'd want to do is you'd probably want to go over to um, change password over here um, and you can type your new password um, or you can do the easier way and go to the game panel uh, which you'd be able to get the link to the game panel by following this button which always does work. Um, this will take you to the login. So we know our email obviously, uh, this is our email, you'd use your own email um, but you won't know the password because that button isn't showing up at the moment for that email. Uh, so you can just click I forgot my password, drop your email in there, and then you'll get another email come through very shortly. Um, and that will um, have the password reset. So that's another way that you can set the password for the game panel. Um, so you've got, you've got a few ways you can handle that. Um, or uh, ideally, that issue should be fixed soon anyway. So you wouldn't have to deal with this. But people also forget their passwords all the time and it's probably the most common question we get so that's how you reset your passwords when you forget them the account for the game panel is separate to the one in the billing area so um that's like intentional um it's it's essentially more secure that way so here's the password reset that's shown up let's hit that button it will take us through and uh here we can see the uh, password reset. So, you're into the game panel now. Um, now, uh, you can see, we can see our server here, and the Dark RP tutorial server, and uh, there's two notifications, welcome to the game panel, and we're launching our Australia servers soon. So you can just get rid of them if you want. Now, you go into your server, and it's the simplest hitting start, and it will start, and you're done, that's it. That's how you buy a server with Crydent. Um, once you're in, um, I'll quickly run you guys through the game panel um, because a lot of people struggle to find things. So over here, this is the details page. This just shows basic information on your server. It will show the graphs that we were seeing earlier for the CPU usage. It will show information about the players and the game mode and the map and the actual server name. Uh, as you can see here, it says Gary's Mod Server Host by Crydent. Here you can see the actual um, server info. Um, so we can see we ordered 75% CPU through 30 gigs of disk space and um, four gigs of memory, which is the most carriers one can use. Now here's that name that we entered on the checkout, and you can see it's here as well. And if you go over here and you have multiple servers, um, it shows up here, and it will also be here in the game panel. And you'd be able to normally search if you have a lot of servers, and you'd be able to just go dark RP, and it would show up there. Um, if something didn't go wrong, <laughs> of course it went wrong when we're trying to do a tutorial. Um, Okay, so uh, I'll have to get that checked out now too. So um, once you're into the game panel, um, you have the details here. We can change the name. So let's just go Dark RP Tutorial, if I can spell. Um, <clears throat> you have farm management here. Um, this is, you know, as you'd expect with farm management. Um, then you have sub users. Uh, this is something we're really kind of working on trying to improve. Um, it's pretty good as it is right now, but this is something we, we do want to improve. Uh, task management, uh, so these are like scheduled tasks if you're familiar with them from different game panels. So um, you can hold down control to select more than one day or just control and A to select all of them. So say if you want it restarting every night at midnight, you could just do something like that. Uh, or you can you know enter the value here to make it easier. Um, so you want it to restart, if I can spell. There we go, and that's what you do, and it would restart every night at midnight. Uh, so that's uh, task management. Um, over here, you have port allocation. Now, this isn't something that we're um, that you wouldn't you won't be using yet, but essentially, what we probably will do at some point is allow you to buy extra IPs, and you'd be able to change the IP that your server's on. 
Um, this is handy for certain situations. Um, it's kind of tricky to think of them, but the, there are rare situations where that's handy. Uh, if you're taking the server down for development, maybe, and stuff like that, um, you'd be able to essentially change the IP here. Um, SFTP settings. Now, we don't use FTP. We use SFTP, um, and you can set that up here if you want to use that. Alternatively, you can use the file manager. Obviously, we advise when you're not using it, you disable it. Um, this is just the, the most secure way. Um, we see a lot of servers always being broken into, so disabling SFTP when you're not using it is a great idea. Um, startup parameters. This is all the stuff you'd expect. Um, that's where you'd set it to uh, dark RP, and we'll go through the startup parameters a lot more in a later video. Databases, these would be the databases that you can use. Um, you'll have PHP my admin here. You can reset the passwords or even the whole databases through here. Mod manager, mod manager, doesn't really need any explanation. Updater, so this is how you Steam update your server. And then fast DL sync, um, which is probably something as well in a later video that we'll go through. Um, but for those of you who know what this is, then that's fast deal. Um, and then otherwise here, you've got links to all of our support like channels. You've got um, links to the API stuff if you want to use the API. Um, and then you've got just general security controls and all that good stuff too. So um, we strongly recommend you set up two-factor auth. So that's how you buy the server with Cryden, get into the game panel, and um, also a brief tour of the actual game panel. So the next video will be, um, I believe, installing Dark RP and getting the basics down from that point of view. Uh, so hope to see you guys in that video. Take it easy.